Good morning, today we'll make a custom input for React Hook 4. The code for this video is in the description, like, subscribe and let's go. We will continue to work on example from the previous video. We have a simple login form where we can input login. That shouldn't be too long, otherwise we will have an error that login must be shorter than 10 characters. And we have a password that should be longer than, I think, 3 characters. No, 6. When we log in, the form alerts the login and password values. Here is the code. We use use form in on blur mode so that it validates the form every time the inputs are blurred when we unfocus them. We have a validation schema defined with yup. Login should be a string with maximum of 10 characters. And if it's not, then we get this message. And also this field is required. We also have a password field which is a string with a minimum of six characters with the following message and it's also required. We can also add a custom message here. On submit, we alert the login and password values. And we have two inputs, login and password. Each input has an associated label and a block of errors. It is quite a lot of repetition. We could move this code to a separate component. Let's call it form input. Create a new file form input.js. Import React from React. Export const form input equals arrow function return. And here let's return a fragment. And inside of this fragment we'll need to use the label, input and errors block. Let's copy the password. Go back to form input, paste the code here. Let's see what are we missing. So first we need to be able to pass the register ref. Let's add it to props. We're gonna take register from the props. Also we'll need to get the errors object. Put it there as well, errors. Okay, now let's see what can we parameterize here. First of all, we can parameterize the label value. Let's add it to the props. Label. Then we know that HTML4 value should be the same as ID. So let's add ID to props and use it in our layout. ID equals ID and HTML4 also equals ID. Then we have name, type and maybe other fields. Oh, we forgot to make the label a JavaScript code instead of text. So in order to process all the fields that we might want to pass to the input, we can use the REST operator to get all the input props at once. Let's call them input props and it will be an array of all the other props that we would pass to the form input. You could call it however you want. And then we can apply them to the input using the same spread syntax, input props and we wrap it into the curly braces. Now we can remove name and type and we'll provide them from the outside of the component. If you look at the errors block you will see that we are checking the password field here and for each specific input like login input, password input, maybe email input or whatever this field will be different. So it's better to just remove the notion of password, rename errors to error and treat it already like an object containing an error related only to this particular input. Now we can go back to login form. Let's start using form input. Let's see what do we need to pass for the password input. Type password, name password, ID also password, label password and register equals register. The only thing left is the error field. Error equals errors password. Now we can remove the old password input. Let's see if the app still works. Test one to three. One to three. Login. It still works. And let's remake the login input as well. We need a form input with ID login, name 
login type text label login register is register and error equals errors login now we can remove the old login field let's check the app again test test one two three the login is too long so it works and the form still alerts the values the code for this video will be in the description let me know if you have any questions about react hook form or react in general thank you for watching this video if you want to pick the topic for the next video join my discord server go to video ideas channel and type your idea